Hey YouTube, I'm here to show you my video game finds for August 3rd, 2013. Uh, not as good as last week, obviously I wasn't banking on that at all. But overall it was a good week or day, I guess, because I didn't really find anything today. Uh, spent quite a bit of money, about the same amount as last week. So, but not as much stuff, but I guess uh, quality-wise a little bit better, I guess you could say. Oh, uh, well, we'll see. I'll show you what I got. So the first place I went to, the post was pretty much, she had pretty much Xbox, DS, PS2 games. Um, got there a little bit early, 15 minutes early, and I was the second person to go there. So, first person bought most of, apparently, the Xbox games. But I'll show you what I got. Spent $200, quite a bit for the first place. Pretty much ran out of cash almost immediately. I got Diablo 3 Limited Edition, sealed. So, pretty nice. Uh, I think I paid, she was asking 75 so I just paid the 75 because when the game originally came out, this sold out really quickly and the price just exploded on this on eBay, so I just thought maybe it might have held. So, apparently it is holding at like over $150, so it's a pretty good buy. I played this game, it's pretty fun. I don't know. I played all Diablos, after a while you get bored, you're going around the same thing over and over again. And then I also got that PS2, I think around 20 bucks I guess, came with cords and uh, one controller, actually the controller is just a clear one, 20 bucks. And then she had a stack of games and also this in the box, a Nintendo 3DS, the purple one. She was asking $90, a little bit high, first I said no and then I just, she said Mario's inside. I mean, she said she rarely used it. It looks like it was like never used. I would say brand new. Then she had Mario. She said Mario, so like, okay, I'll just grab it. Maybe it might be a good deal. Let me see if I can find it. Uh, I don't know where it is. <laughs> well, I can't find it. It was Super Mario Land for the 3DS, so if she wanted 90 bucks, I just bought it. Uh, Hold on. Ah, here it is. Yeah, cartridge only. Super Mario Land 3DS. So 90 bucks I just went for it. I, I don't know. And then she had a stack of games I bought. I think this weekend I was kind of like a sucker for sealed games. Even all these sealed games were like not very good. I'll show you what I got. Okay, so for the PS2, I got, these are all pretty good condition. All. Looks like manual. Star Wars, Lego Star Wars, the video game, PS2. And then Seal, Siphon fil Filter, Dark Mirror. Final Fantasy X. And then this is not really a game, I think it's a demo. Jam Pack Volume 15. Flat Out Seal. God of War. Uh, it's weird, there was actually two God of Wars inside of this one. And it wasn't this, God of War 2. <laughs> this was by itself. And then a uh, sealed version of King Arthur for the PS2, and a uh, sealed version of Medal of Honor European Assault. So, like I said, the games weren't that great, the sealed ones, but they were sealed, so I just went for it. And then she also had a bunch of other sealed games. Uh, all sports games. Tiger Woods PGA Tour 08 for the Xbox 360. Uh, NHL 08. Another Tiger Woods. Tiger Woods 2011. Sim Animals for the Wii. And Madden 07 for the Wii. I mean, like I said, they weren't that great games, but I mean, if you're paying like $2 for sealed game, you go for it. Okay, so the next place I went to a very similar post with the video games and when I got there I parked and then while I was walking in there I saw the guy who also buys video games so I'm like oh I'm done because he's he knows what he's buying and he's pretty good at it so I actually got two games I got kind of for free because I bought a very expensive watch so she threw these games in uh, like I said he picked through it so obviously he just left gave me scraps Sega Superstars for uh, Sega Superstars Tennis and it looks like Xbox Live Arcade for 360. 
So not a very good game. But he didn't miss this other game, which I'm happy about. Musashi, the PlayStation 1. Definitely a good game. I was like, ha ha ha, when I found it. Because I knew he missed it. Alright, so the next place I went to... I think I paid... Like I said, I got those for free. I paid. I bought a, a watch and she just threw those games in. Originally, they were just asking a dollar. So the next place I went to had... Um, he was posting it. Well, he didn't post it, but from a picture, he had the PS1. PS1. The small one. And it had two controllers with it. Two white controllers, and it works. I tested it out. So actually, when I got there, some guy was already looking at it, and... Apparently he was disgusted by it, because he, he's like, do you have the PS2? And he's like, no, and he just walked away. I mean, the PS1, the gray, I guess, is garbage. I won't pay more than five bucks. I only paid 15 for for this one. So I didn't pay for this one. But he threw in a few other stuff for the 15. He threw in... So also in the box was, was this, the Game Boy silver pocket game boy and it is in really really rough shape really rough shape and i'm like uh this is probably broken so you throw it in he's like okay but i did test it and it did work but then he threw in the games for the game boy so i was like i really just wanted the games i mean tetris it just you know you just have it but the other two games i think were nice super mario land and uh donkey Kong. So I really just wanted the games, he threw it in with the PS1, so it was $15 for everything, so I just took it. And then, um, I wasn't expecting the pocket to work, it does work, but I'll show you again, there's this giant pixel messed up in the center, so when you're playing the game, the pixels are dead in the center. So the next place I went to, actually, hold on, with the PS1, I'm sorry I missed this, he had three games. Not very good. Sammy Sosa. 007, Tomorrow Never Die, Greatest Hits, and Siphon Filter. So I open up the games, I open up Siphon Filter, it's not Siphon Filter. Apparently there's like five, four or five games on top of this one. So I was surprised that he had a bunch of stack of games, and now I can't find them. Ah, here. So inside Siphon Filter, he had Disc Only Rugrats, Cool Borders 3, like I said, these aren't great, I mean, the last two I'll show you were pretty good, ah. Spongebob Squarepants, and the last two are probably the better of the two games that were in there, I tested them all out, they all play, Spyro the Dragon, which is pretty nice, and Crash Bandicoot, um, let's see, Crash Bandicoot worked. So they all work, even though when I looked at them they had some crap on them, I cleaned them up, they all look fine. So I paid $15, like I said, 15 for everything, the PS1, the Silver, and all the games. Or Game Boy Silver. And then the next place I went to... I, I'm not sure what they're doing, it looked like they're cleaning out and... Um, they're pretty much giving away the stuff, I think. Oh, so bad! The GameCube in really rough shape. Really rough shape. I'm looking at the back right now. It's that word flip in the back. What the hell? Came with the cables and the a silver controller. And then it came with a few games. The GameCube was ten dollars. The games were two dollars a piece. TMNT and uh, Tarzan Untamed. And then also had he had. I think for a dollar, the Game Boy Color, but the back is missing. Um, I tried playing it, um, there's no sound, and then the left switch, it's not broken, but you gotta really press really hard on it to get it to work, so. It looks like the start and the select button got all chewed up by something. I don't know if they took a knife to it. So, not a good deal, I guess. I don't know, for a buck, you just go for it. Okay, so what was next on the list? Um, oh yeah, I also got two PS2 games at this garage sale. They have this garage sale very often, and I'm not sure what they're thinking on the prices, but they got two PS2 games for $7. I got this because it just looked really weird. I just 
Fantavision. I was really confused on what you're actually doing in this game. It looks like you're doing fireworks or something, but... I just wanted to bundle it with this game, which is the one that I really wanted. Spiral, A New Beginning, even though it's disc only. So, um, got a few more other items. Sorry, I'm a little bit slow today. <laughs> I don't know why. So I was driving to another garage sale and, and there were three garage sales kind of lined up on the side of the road. So I stopped over, um, didn't see the posting. I got five games for 20 bucks, uh, Ninja Gaiden 2 for the Xbox 360, Sims 2 Castaway for the Wii, and then, this isn't a great game, but like I said, I don't know what, it's just sealed, I just grab it. Attack the Great Juju Challenge for the Game Boy, for GameCube, sealed. I really just wanted these two games. I knew what they were worth. Uh, even though there was disc only. Mario Kart Double Dash. And, um, I kind of read this a little bit too fast. I thought it was just Super Monkey Ball, but it's actually Super Monkey Ball Adventure, disc only. So I really just wanted those two games, but I was trying to make a bundle. And then, at another place, I just, you know, it was like just on the side of the road, I was driving to another grass hill again. And it looked like there was a lot of people, so I just stopped by. And they had this, first they had these, the Wii games. They had like four or five games. They all wanted $10 a piece. I thought it was crazy. It was Super Mario Brothers for the Wii and uh, Super Mario Galaxy for the Wii. Both of them were missing their uh, instructions and... I think this one I gotta play pretty much the whole game because there's something really messed up on the disc. I was going back and forth if I wanted it. You're asking 10 and then a bunch of other games. I mean, she wanted 10 bucks for Wii Sports. I thought she was crazy. And I was walking around and she had something in the garbage bag. She had a Wii in a garbage bag. I mean, you're trying to sell something and it's in a garbage bag, you gotta think about what you're doing. She had this and then she obviously had one controller and inside the garbage bag she had just the cover of Mario Kart. So I was thinking, they only want 40 bucks for the Wii. And I was thinking, I have a feeling Mario Kart's inside this. And I was right. Mario Kart's inside the Wii. So I was able to bundle the two Mario games and the Wii for 50 bucks. So overall it's a pretty good deal. Because I know I could get 24 bucks at game stuff for just Mario Kart if it works. But I think it probably does work. I think I only got one more item. I'm uh, looking for it. Oh yeah, the pink Yoshi I got at the first place. She bundled it for $200. I was just like, pink Yoshi, just grab it. And finally, I'm sorry, a little bit slow today. Oh, last place I went to, I pretty much just asked if you had any video games. She just came out with this. It's just weird. Three bucks, fling smash for the Wii. Um, she said it's a really good game if you're really drunk, so I got it, I guess. <laughs> That's what she said, three bucks. I said, okay. Um, let me see. Sorry, still going back. I should have just thought about this before I did the video. <laughs> I think that's all I got to show you guys. Sorry, I'm dragging my foot on this. I'm looking on the table. Yeah, I think that's it. Sorry. I also got this. I'll show you this when I get a sale where it's near nothing. I got this a long time ago, but I'll show you what's inside of it. I think you know what it is. It's the deluxe version. And um, I'm trying to complete this because originally I paid $3 and I only had the robot. So I'll show you what's inside eventually. Not today, probably maybe tomorrow or next week. Because I finally completed everything pretty much. I kind of, it's like a Frankenstein collection because everything's inside now and it looks complete, but I bought it all at different places. Alright, well, thanks for watching. See ya.